Hey y'all, we're going to go short and sassy today. We're going to go short and sassy. This is called, for those that don't know, this is called Vashanti. And she's in the 613, I think. I can't. It's, a, it's a different number. Anyways, my favorite part is the back. Because it's got that stacked look. And then it's... So it's slightly asymmetrical. Love it. Love it. All right, let's talk about something that some of us are hearing for the first time. I'm getting an aha moment. I knew that your body was affected by stress, but we're going to talk about what happens when you're with a toxic person. This is a lot of times women are more connected to this, but it can happen to men also. I've heard that it can happen to men as well. So there's, I think there's a book called... Your body keeps the score. And to me, it's a scary book <laughs> because it shows you how your body responds to stress, how, how it responds to stress. Okay. Even on a cellular level, your body responds crazy to, to um, you know, stress when you're with a toxic person. We may confuse the stress how our body's acting. We may confuse that with, um, we may confuse that with nervousness that we like them so much. It makes us nervous. The last snake that I knew, that's what I thought my body was telling me. No, 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 no. My body was warning me. This is a bad situation that you don't want to be in. Did I know it was doing that? No. No, I didn't. So let's talk about it. And I'm going to try to remember to put the video of women who have been through this. I'm going to put that in the description. Okay. Um, some of these girls, and we're talking about being with a toxic individual, how your body responds. So your body's alarm system is going off. And we may not know what it is. Okay. We, we, so now we have an insight. Once you know better, you know, what's up and you need to pay attention to that. It's your body telling you this person's bad. This person's really, really bad. Okay. So we got to listen. So these are some of the symptoms that you're, you know, you're with a toxic person, you're in a relationship with them and your body flips out because it knows that they're toxic as hell. So you can have acne. Um, one lady had severe acne on her face and her back. And once she got rid of him, it eventually cleared up. Body aches, stomach pain. You can get UTIs, which are urinary tract infections. You can get yeast infections. Migraines. I'm going to tell you something else about the UTIs and the yeast infections and um, vaginal irritation, period. And guys, y'all have wives, y'all have sisters, y'all, y'all shouldn't, you know, hopefully you're not horrified by any, by any of this, but it's going to get a little personal. Um, for some people, for some women, you're getting vaginal irritation, not necessarily an infection, but you're getting vaginal irritation because the person that you're involved with likes to poke other people without protection. And then they turn around and have sex with you without protection. And they irritate your vagina. Because other women's fluids are getting in your body. And your body recognizes that that's not yours. Okay? Your body realizes that's not yours. Hold on. Um... Your body knows, your body knows that something's not right. And as gross as that sounds, I think it's a lot more gross to poke other people while you're supposedly with this one person. That's even more gross and more disgusting. You have no morals, you have no values, you are a fucked up person, and you're causing your partner irritation, bacterial vaginosis, STIs, and possibly HIV. That's a hell of a lot worse than somebody's got bacteria down there from another woman because you are sticking your dick in other people. 
And you wonder why somebody wants to hurt your ass. Okay, so I didn't know this at the time, but I was with somebody who had um, severe issues and he was poisonous. He's another narcissist. And during the same time that I was involved with his dumb ass, I had a severe, I suffered a severe fibroid issue and basically I was hemorrhaging every month hemorrhaging in my cycle I'm gonna get personal um, my cycle would last seven days and I I mean and guys I'm just keeping it real with you if you can't handle female talk you need to go ahead and click off but your your sister your cousin your wife somebody may be going through this Hopefully your wife isn't, because that means that you are fucking up, and, right. So, I was hemorrhaging for seven days a month, hemorrhaging. And I had to wear, I talked about this a long time ago, I had to wear four, four types of protection at the same time. And that didn't guarantee to prevent me from having an incident, okay, in public. Been there, done that. Okay, it happened to me when I was in school, and I had to go home and take care of business. Thankfully, my instructor didn't ask me why. I just said, I got to take care of something personal, and he was like, okay, cool. So, let's see. So I had to wear a cup, which goes inside for people that don't know. It's a cup that catches the fluid. I had to wear that. No. I had to wear a tampon, then a cup, and two pads. So if this is, this ain't going to be, let's pretend this is underwear. <laughs> I had to wear a pad that went across, you know, across my girly bits. And another pad that went like this. So basically a letter T with the pads. So tampon, cup, and two nighttime pads. They're almost like diapers. That's how thick they are. And that did not guarantee that I wouldn't have an incident in public, like I said. And it was at the same time I was dealing with this poisonous ass person. My body's like, oh, hell no. Hell no. Get away from him. I had so many fibroids, which are basically tumors. I had so many fibroids, the doctor could not count them all. They weren't even going to attempt to count them. And that made sense to me because after the fact, I realized that once I was in the shower, I would sit down, I take sit down to take a shower so I don't, you know, strain my neck, my back, all that. Anyway, and I felt like there was a fist where my uterus is. A fist. It was firm. And I'm like, that's a little odd. That was why. You can have weight gain or weight loss quickly, either one, your appetite decreases or increases while you're with this person. I remember going out with the last snake that I knew. We went to Fazoli, Fazoli's, it's a restaurant, and we had, I had to, I couldn't finish my meal. And normally I don't have a problem with that, normally. I couldn't finish my meal. So I had to get a to-go box. That was my body telling me, yo, yo, we're in hyper-protect mode. We don't want to digest food right now. We're in hyper-protect mode because you're dancing with the devil. Your body knows. Your body knows. 
it knows. Okay. It knows. And then, because they're bastards, and women are no better, and they have to control everything, or so they think. We got into an argument after the fact. I got irritated about something he did or said. And then he decided to deflect. Let's talk about something else other than the fact that I'm a poisonous son of a bitch. Let's talk about something else. What about the time that you took that the, the to-go box home? You didn't even finish your meal. Bitch, that ain't your concern. I'm a goddamn grown-up. I'm a motherfucking grown-up. You don't tell nobody when they should finish their meal, how much they should eat. They can't bring a to-go to box. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You don't tell grown people that. You don't argue with them about it, but if you're a fucked up toxic motherfucker, that's exactly what you do. My body didn't like you. That's why I couldn't finish my meal, you son of a bitch, you son of Satan. Whew, let me calm down. Anyway, when you're with the right person, you should feel peace and calmness around the right person and you feel safe. S-A-F-E. Safe. I never felt safe with anyone I was involved with ever in my whole life. Never. You may feel comfortable about them around them because you're used to being around them, but there's still a part of you that doesn't totally trust and there's a part of you that's like, eh, something's, something's not good with this situation. After intimacy with the ex-husband, me, many times I felt disconnected from him and sensed that I was a married whore. Here I am with a ring on my finger. All these vows that I said that he didn't mean. And yet he was completely disconnected from me. Just because somebody's doing you, that doesn't mean they love you. Okay, I don't care if you are married. They may be doing you because they just need to empty their walnuts. It doesn't have anything to do with you. They're using your body to masturbate with. I'm just keeping it real. They're using you and pumping and dumping, even though it's supposed to be sanctified, you're supposed to be a marriage, and you're supposed to be vows of love under God. Bullshit and triple layers of bullshit. If you're with a narcissist, they don't give two dams about those vows. They don't care. Those vows mean nothing to a narc. So, like I said, I think the name of the book is called The Body Keeps the Score. That's the, that book freaks me out. Your body knows, even on a cellular level, your body knows that something is wrong. That something is wrong. Pay close attention to that. One girl was with a toxic ass person and her whole face, this whole half of her face broke out in acne, severe acne. Another picture she showed when she was with the poisonous person, her face was swollen, her eyes were red, and she did not look good. She got away from him. He went off on her, cussed her out, called her every name in the book, which is proving that she's making a good choice by dumping his ass. And then her, she recovered, her swelling in her face went down, her eyes weren't red anymore, the acne disappeared, and she was good to go. So, listen to what your body's telling you. Listen to what, and these, these little bastards, these toxic MFers, they think that they can rule every god dang thing. They don't rule shit. They rule Jack and shit, and Jack left town. They don't rule anything, and they damn sure cannot prevent your body from telling on them. Your body's going to tell. And let you know, uh, 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 
know you don't want to keep going down this road with this demon individual and I don't care if they're in church every single day the biggest devils are in church mm. the biggest devils are in church every Sunday like clockwork so be careful listen to your body men go through this also uh, I saw a clip where a guy said, yeah, I was uh, feeling well, I was tired, I was exhausted. I didn't know what the heck's wrong with me. When I laid down next to this person, I just felt like almost like beat up. When they broke up, he was back to his normal self. So it does happen to men too. He was with a toxic person. So pay close attention. Like I said, I'll try to remember to put the, the video that with all these people talking about it and pay attention, pay, pay close, close attention. Your body is warning you that you're with a bad, bad person. And I don't mean bad as in awesome, bad as in wicked and your body freaking knows. All right, you guys take care. This is so important so important and I guarantee you some of y'all that are watching this video are going to be like wait a freaking minute wait a second wait a second wait a second what yeah your body tells it's like a tattletale it goes ooh I'm telling <laughs> you just gotta listen alright you guys take care. Much love. Bye.